In this demonstration, you will learn how to read in different types of data sets within Insight. There are different ways of loading and reading data sets within Insight depending on the file format you're using. You can use the Open Other File option in the Welcome window, or you can head over to File, Open. A dialog will open to navigate to the location of the dataset you want to read. A good suggestion is to toggle on the Advanced Interface radio button. The Advanced Interface allows you to select a dataset which is read by the Insight server, and then select which parts out of the dataset you wish to load and display in the client. You can control the Format option, Extra User Interface options that may be defined for your data file format and time settings. The Data tab contains settings for file format and file names. The Format Options tab contains format-specific information. The Time Options tab contains time-specific information. In terms of navigating to your input file, you can use the up arrow icon or cut and paste the path you need to get to from a Windows folder. The Open dialog is listing and currently looking for any and all files in the directory. Therefore, the importance of the Advanced Interface toggle is to control and show specific files. You can restrict your file list to display only Nsite case files by choosing Nsite case from the file type dropdown. You will then ensure that this is the data file that is being read by pressing the Set Case button. Your format dropdown automatically recognizes the file format and displays it for you. The final step would be to press on the Load All Parts button to display all parts within the graphical user interface. If you would like to look at another file format, you can select ANSYS Fluids Post from the File Type dropdown. You will notice that the DAT file is automatically populated based on the existing file structure. Since this is a transient dataset, you can specify a wildcard to read in all DAT files. The next step is to look at the comments box. It is particularly important to read and make sure that you understand that you can use different specifications here depending on the format you're using. Different formats essentially need different files. You may need one file, multiple files, a key, or an input, which emphasizes the importance of the advanced interface toggle. This gives you control over what reader is being used with what file. As an example, if you're using the Forte reader, then you would need to provide the FTIND file shown in the comments section. You would then find the file and select Set Index File and move forward. Let's go back to selecting ANSYS Fluids Post under the Format dropdown. In this case, you're reading one CAS but multiple DAT files specifically for this format. The default once you have specified all files to load, is to press on the Load All Parts button. This reads in all of the parts that the reader sees on the dataset and displays it within the graphical user interface. This is fine for most cases. However, for others, there is a Select Parts to Load button which doesn't load anything but rather gives you a list of available parts that can be loaded, allowing you to read in specific items from the dataset. This is beneficial when the model becomes quite large and there is no need to load the fluid domain as all you are doing is plotting the pressure coefficient on the surface. This becomes quicker, uses far less memory, and is easier to handle. In recap, for file loading, it all depends on the format you are using and what input needs to be provided. Each reader has its own requirements for input files to be given and specification of transient data that needs to be followed for each reader. One clever trick is to drag and drop a known file format directly from Windows File Explorer onto the viewport. A new case window will appear allowing you to configure options before having it loaded directly into the viewport. You can also view recently opened data files by selecting File, Open Recent Data File from the main menu. This menu will show you the last 10 datasets that were read. You can also find this option within Insight's Welcome window under the Data tab. As you can see, Insight's powerful File Open dialog allows you to load various different types of files depending on numerous readers. You also have the capability of specifying data 
format, and time options using advanced interface options. Comments are given as guidance on what can be imported using the file format chosen to assist you in successfully importing your dataset. This concludes our demonstration on how to read in different types of datasets within Ensite.